Today I'm going to show you how to do a parasitic current draw test. If you have a battery in a car that's draining and you cannot figure out why it's draining um, and you drive it daily or at least two, three times a week, um, this is a perfect test to show you and isolate where your current draw and your battery drain is going. So I have made me a tool that is a pretty cool tool. It's got a negative disconnect on it. And what you're doing here is you're going to hook your amp meter in line here and you're going to set it on amps. So we're going to switch this positive here over to the amp side. You can see there it's, I think that one's a 10 amp fused. We're going to plug that one in there. We're going to turn it to direct current amperage. In here, <clears throat> I can close this this is tight meaning that there's power going through this wire here coming into the battery so when I disconnect this it's going to show me exactly how much current this trucks drawing so I'll go ahead and switch these over because it's showing a negative so we're going to take this one and we're going to plug it in here and negative to the battery okay hope you can see that so there now we're 0 0.003 that's three milliamps and that is perfectly adequate so this truck doesn't have any current draw problems but i'm going to simulate one here i'm going to turn on the park lights and you're going to see park lights on the headlights will draw more than 10 amps now you can see we have a 2.5 amp draw and this here is obviously would drain your car down um so i'm going to do another one here i'm going to turn off the turn off the uh Headlight, and I'm going to turn on the dome light. Okay, that's a common one that people leave on glove box light, trunk lid light. And as you can see, we're putting out seven tenths of an amp. That will draw your battery down without a problem. So, uh, there again, we can close the loop, and now we can see that that amperage is being pulled through this cable and not my meter anymore. Looks like there's still just a little bit going through there, but we'll open it back up. You see our dome light's definitely running. So let's shut that dome light off and I'm gonna tell you how to isolate a circuit that is uh, drawing current. It's real simple. What you'll do is right here, we're gonna simulate that. We're gonna go back over here. We're gonna turn on the dome light. We're gonna pretend that we don't know this dome light's on, okay? This will simulate a current draw. So you have a current draw. You don't know where it's coming from. Dome light, it's not on. The glove box looks okay, all that. You're gonna to go to the fuse box. And particularly, I know that this is the dome fuse. So we can see that we're drawing amperage. We're just gonna go through here and we just pull fuses out. We just pull the fuse until we figure out what circuits which. And as of here, we're gonna pull this fuse. This is a dome light fuse. And voila, no current draw. Back to what it was without the dome light on. So that would have been the way that we could have found the circuit that was giving us problems. We just go through and pull fuses and then look and see on our diagram on the back of the cover, you know, we know that that was a dome fuse. But if we didn't know that, we'd just keep going around and pulling. Heck, it could be the hazard light, it could be anything on the multiple cars, but that is how you test current draw on a car. If you have anything that is over 0 0.03 milliamps or 0 0.004, which is adequate on a lot of these newer cars with the computer stuff, you're okay. You're gonna need a really good battery. Walmart batteries will not cut it. AutoZone batteries usually do not cut it. You need a good, good battery. Delka, Delka, D-E-L-K-A is the best battery sold next to an Optima. And even Optimas aren't all that great. I just had this one laying around and put in this truck. So I hope that helps everybody out. Um, there again, this is a cool little tool. If you make one, uh, hopefully you send some proceeds my way. <laughs> I've never seen anybody else make one of these. So kind of a cool tool you can see so uh yeah stay tuned make sure and subscribe and like this video if you have any questions or comments 
go ahead and leave it here on the page and uh, I'll get back to you. Look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks again.